Hey guys, it's me. I want to introduce a video series that I'm working on that I think is going to be very useful for a very niche audience. So I just got introduced to Last FM, which is so much fun in my opinion, and <laughs> getting to see my listening stats and milestones with a little bit of social aspect is more than I ever wanted from the site. However, having just discovered the site in the year of our Lord, 2020, the only thing that Last FM doesn't let me do, unfortunately, is give me stats about my life before I joined Last FM. Or does it? Well, the short answer is yes, but not really. See, you can upload music manually into Last FM servers, but only from the last two weeks. Anything before that will need its state changed, which kind of sucks, and it defeats the purpose. But that's how I'm going to show you some ways to get around this if you still want to know your past history. Anyways, here's the running plan for the series. First, how to upload Google Play listening history into Last.fm. First of all, moment of silence for Google Play. I haven't used Google Play anytime recently, but I know a couple of people that did. <laughs> this is the most straightforward tutorial. I show you how to download your listening data, and I wrote a little script that'll help you out. And lastly, I show you how to upload using Shoegaze SSB's Universal Scrabbler. Next up is Spotify, which you'd think would be straightforward. I thought it was going to be easier than the Google Play one, since I thought that you could just follow the instructions that are floating around on the internet, but it turns out I was wrong. There are multiple things that make this a lot more of a pain to handle, the first being that all the songs are listed in your listening history, including skipped songs, so I needed a way to call those effectively. Next problem is that custom songs are counted, but they're not named, so I need to write some code to figure out what each song was. Anyways, I'll go into more detail in the video itself, but I'm not quite finished with the code in that one, so expect it'll take a little bit longer. And anyone that just wants to upload without waiting, I'll say that about half the data in my listening history was skip songs or songs with zero playtime and I don't even skip around that much, so this is likely to be higher if you do. And personally, I wouldn't want half my data being wrong, but you can make your own decisions about that. Lastly, I'll go over the various scenarios you'll find yourself in if you're interested in knowing your previous year's top artists and listening history. I'll go over how to do that. And I'm considering making a script that will fix the dates on any uploaded songs in your exported Last.fm data so that you can have correct listening history in third-party programs. If you write your own program, maybe it's considered second party or first party. Yeah. I don't know. Anyways, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the first video. I will try to get it done soon. I was originally trying to get all three of these videos and all my music uploaded done before New Year's, but Judging by how long the second video has taken, I figured I would take it easy, and also I'm working every day now. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to DM me, check progress, or ask any questions, my Discord is in the description, or you can leave a comment. I don't check either very often, that's just the way I am, <laughs> but I'll try and get back to you. Alright, see ya.